It is. It's not super sick, but it's starting to get there. I don't know if it's the weather change. I don't know if it's because of my coworker. I really don't know what I'm like sick with lately. It's been hitting me twice now. Because last week, was it last week? Yeah, last week. Yeah, last week. Or two weeks ago, technically, but starting on like Friday of two weeks ago, all the way until Tuesday, I was sick. I would not be surprised though, chat, if within a week or two I get sent back up north. Unless they figure something up. Unless they figure something out up there. I'd rather be up there for like a longer period of time. Like when they send me to uh, a place called Modesto, that one, I stayed out there for five days. My whole work shift was out there. And then. And the drive's not hard either, that's the nice part, the drive's easy. Now they were to say, oh, go to Buena Park or something, like go uh, to uh, like a, a city down south from where I live. Um, it, it would suck more, because driving south sucks. South always sucks. Awesome I do it because they have to pay for my gas mileage. And so, like today, I should be getting an extra check. I spent maybe a hundred bucks on gas. Maybe. I'm getting 300 back. So I'm getting 200 and something dollars in profit. So yeah. And they get a pay, they have to pay for my dinner and my lunch. So yeah, I'll take it. That's why I don't mind going. If it's southbound though, that's where it's rough. Because if it's southbound, then I'll, I'll tell them like, hey, well, if I'm going down south, I need to leave here early to get there on time. But it just depends. Because one time, they, and this is how I know, they, they didn't realize what they were saying. Uh, first time they ever had me drive southbound, right? We I had to drive a U-Haul through, through the valley, essentially. And the U-Haul was maxed out. We filled that thing up with new, with old, with our arcade games that we were getting rid of. Here's the problem: you have to drive up escalation while you're doing this. You're driving through the valley and heading towards. And for those of you who don't know this, uh, LA traffic slash any traffic down there is a bitch. It's not good. So we, I make it there. They said, oh, we need you here by 9, so you can leave here by like 7, you'll be okay. I said, bullshit. Bullshit. You are not get If I leave here at 7 in the morning on a Wednesday, at 7 in the morning with a U-Haul full, I'm not getting there till 3 o'clock. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. However, 
if I leave if I leave my work at four, maybe five, I'll get there at nine on the dot. Expensive is hard and it's hot. If I have to recommend a place to live, travel more up north. That or just get out of California in general. Pardon? You there? Alright, he's alive. Do you know how many YouTubers, like, I think Alpharad did it, I think Alpharad moved to LA, I'm positive Vanoss Gaming moved to LA at one point, um, these guys moved down to LA and I was like, oh no, like, I'm sorry. Like, if it's for work, I get it, but try to get out. From not working in LA, in all honesty. And it's not. It's not just because like, oh, the the city itself is just rough. It's also just because. Uh, Traffic becomes a problem. There's so many different like financial problems you'll run into. Oh, then I forgot the Knuckle Show came out today. Yippee! I'm gonna watch it. Probably not. <laughs> when will I watch it? I don't know. You know what I will watch though? Keanu Reeves. I'm gonna watch Shadow the Hedgehog. That one's a must. The dust truck <laughs> damage. The dust truck damage, baby.
Oh, nothing. You just sit there. You sit there and hope you tech the grab. <laughs> or you make the right read. Otherwise, you sit there. Excuse me. I hit the I hit the stick. I hit the little dude. My dad hates watching Gargos play. Uh, he's actually like a Gargos hater. <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> uh, when I used to do, when Feral Yami used to do PCK a lot, um, they, uh, we used to, I would sit, tell like my parents, like, hey, I have a tournament this day. I'm going to be online. It's, you know, I'm in my room. So please, you know, don't, you know, please, you know, let me be. Well, then a bunch of people would show up at the house and watch the tournament on stream. They would watch it outside and have like a big barbecue to watch me. It was like a Super Bowl, basically. And people used to come out all the time. So the first time I entered one, I got second. I faced Wheels. And I barely lost to Wheels in Grand Finals. And then the second time I, I faced Wheels again. But both times Gargo shows up, my dad got pissed. He would just be like, I hate that fucking character. He summons those little bastards, those little minions and stupid. I'm just like, yeah, no, that's, that's the whole gimmick. <laughs> Go for it. Hey yeah, his zoning is nowhere near as effective because what was happening was the best way to play Gargos was to play him like a zoner. And it was getting a little too like, uh, this is not what we intended for Gargos. We want you to kind of play both, like be aggressive and be patient with him. can't rely on zoning as much he now has to play more aggressive which is good because gargos players weren't utilizing his rushdown better they were just like throw minions out just start punching and hope they work it was like one of the only ways to work against holo or against uh, thunder for example because that's what happened with uh, wheels and hologram during twitch rivals it literally was just throw projectiles And then hologram would get in one time and it was just like, oh, well. It wasn't the best, to say the least.
Yeah. All right. After this one chat, I'll have to take a quick break because I just had to help my nephew and my niece out. Little bastards. He got all the minions out. Ah. All right, back chat. <laughs> uh, that I wouldn't know. I just think that certain characters get get to be free from patch notes, and it's like, God damn it. As I always say, nerf Thunder and nerf Rashmore. The game will be in a much happier place. <laughs> But they're the worst characters in the game now. Don't care, nerf for more. <laughs> they're not. That's the worst part, they're not. Well, Cinder, because Cinder is now... Cinder never got touched, per se. It's just now people are seeing it. Only if we get Arya nerfs. Agreed! But the thing is, like, how do you nerf Arya? Actually, there is way. Uh, assist calls. Specifically an instinct, those need to get nerfed. They need the hard nerf. She gets hit, they don't come out. And Mira? A little bit of Mira. A little bit. Ah, shit. 
we were playing chicken. All right. Aha! I win this time. <laughs> Success. You never guess what I'm gonna do. Well, uh, 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 uh. That's fair. Wow. Rash just needs a lot of adjustments in general, still. Tongue really should have been a minus and no longer follows up on hit. They got better, but it's still rough. There's still a lot of things Brash can do. Still, I think the biggest thing that Rash should have lost and it should have been gone is just on block, you can no longer follow up with Tongue. Like, Tongue literally is you, you, you fly right to the opponent, it's minus 12, and that's it. You don't get a follow up with a jumping cross up, you don't get anything on block. Tongue silliness, yes, but on hit, not on block. It still gives him a free get in tool. There's still now a free tool. So he still has a free fucking neutral tool. Against certain members of the cast. Not everyone, but a lot of the cast he still has it. Which is exactly what made him super powerful to begin with. Not always. It depends on which direction he goes. Part of the reason, yeah. The straight block ton, yes, but most rash players aren't gonna do that. Most come at an angle because they know they'll get punished. That's fine. <laughs> There's like five of us that know what we're doing. <laughs> Base form is fine. It's heated up form that I have a problem with. I, I have a huge problem with his heated up form. These guys are good though, Mash.
Sheesh. Ow. Did that slightly too early. Or too late, sorry, too late. That's fine. <laughs> My biggest beef with Kilgore, one, obviously, like, it's a bad matchup, and I understand, like, characters are gonna have bad matchup. That's fine. My biggest problem is, though, for being a zoner character whose gimmick is supposed to be, and they buffed this, uh, they changed it, uh, early, or late season three, uh, when Kilgore first got nerfed, the sec, when he got buffed once, they changed the range on all his fire attacks. But when he's heated up, he's supposed to lose, like, a lot of his range. Not all of it, but a good chunk of it, right? Why the fuck does he have like 12 lances? That are bigger than lance? When it comes to how wide they are. Hmm? And then he builds meter one time and she's like, Oh, I have a bar. I'm gonna do 70%, 60 to 70%. Good luck breaking it. It's a one chance break. Bullshit. Dolphin did. Bullshit, SVM. One bar with instinct? Yeah, no, you're just dead. You're eating 60 to 70%. Monsoon has done it to me. Literally, the character is dumb. Like, it's understandable with instinct. You're just, you literally have to block the whole time. But come on, man. Even with just heated up, you can get big damage like that? Nah. Thank you, boy, guy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. I am right. I had Rash in top five for 